Optimizing field service operations for a home service business will involve managing a team of field technicians who perform repairs, installations, maintenance, and inspections in customers' homes. In this video, we will show how you can streamline your field tasks using Zuper, the most flexible and customizable FSM software. We are now looking at the dashboard of a home service business. The dashboard gives an overview of the job statistics, statuses, customer feedback, team availability, and more. Let's start by creating a quotation for a customer. Click on quotations in the left navigation bar. You can create customized quotations and share them with your customers quickly. Click on new quote. Let's choose the customer in the customer details section. You can filter the customers based on category. Let's filter the residential customers. Choose the customer and the address from the ensuing pop-ups. You can see that the billing contact information is pre-filled. You can check the box to use the same address for service contact information. Under Quote Details, let's enter the reference number. The expiry date is pre-filled as per the business configuration. You can add notes related to the quote. Let's add the parts and services required for the job. Click on Add Item. You can view all the parts and services, which can be filtered by category and location. Let's filter the parts and services by category. Enter the required quantity and click on Add. We have added one product and two parts with the required quantity. Let's close the pop-up. You can edit the line items and add a discount, say $2. You can also request a deposit from the customer before starting the job. Let's enter the deposit amount as $50. On the right, you can preview the quote details, including the quote date, expiry date, total amount, and deposit. Now that we have entered the required details, let's save and send the quotation to the customer. Click on Send. The quotation is successfully sent to the customer. Let's view the email sent to the customer. Click on the link in the email to approve the quote. Click on Accept. The customer can sign the quote. Let's accept the quote. The quote is approved successfully. Now let's switch to the Zuper web app. You can see that the quote is accepted. Let's create a new job for the quote. Click on New Job. On the Job Creation page, the customer details are pre-filled. Moving on to the Job Details section, enter the job title as Deep Cleaning. Choose the job category as Home Services. Set the job priority as High. Pick the job start date and start time. The job end date and end time are pre-filled based on the job category chosen. Moving on to the next tab, let's assign the job to a field technician. Choose the team. You can view the user's availability below. Pick the most suitable technician and click on Assign. Let's move to the last section to preview and save the job. The deep cleaning job is created successfully. On the Job Details page, you can view the primary details like job title, status, scheduled date, SLA duration, assigned technician, service and billing address, and customer location. Now let's update the job status to scheduled. Select scheduled from the job status dropdown and click on Update. We have created a deep cleaning job, assigned it to a field technician, and updated the job status. Now let's log into the technician's mobile app. The Zuper mobile app equips your field technicians with customer data, job details, parts and service details, invoicing, and real-time communication capabilities. Under Notifications, you can view the job. Let's click on it. You can view the job details, including schedule, category, priority, and customer location. Let's accept the job. In the Job Details section, you can view the associated quote. You can update site images and other details as notes to the job. To do so, click on Add Note. Enter the note. Click on the image to upload the picture. Let's save the note. Using the inbuilt chat application, you can also chat with the back office staff or manager. You can request more information or assistance. The technician can now start working on the job. Navigate to the Status tab. Click on Start Working. Let's update the job status to In Progress. The job status is updated successfully. 
After the service, the field technician can update the job status as completed. To do so, click on Status. Select Change Status. Select Completed from the list of available statuses. You can collect feedback from the customer. The customer can sign and submit the feedback. The job status is updated successfully. Now that the job is completed, let's raise an invoice. To do so, click on the New button. Click on New Invoice. You can see that the customer details are filled in. Clicking on Next, you can view the job details. You can add items for approval from the list of available items or create a new one. Select Add Item. You can filter the listed products, parts, and services by category. Let's filter them by the Home Services category. Click on Add against the product. Enter the quantity and the discount. Click on Add. Let's repeat it for the other parts and services. You can see the total amount with taxes. Let's continue to the next step. After reviewing the details, click on Create. The invoice is created successfully. The technician can now send it to the customer for payment. Click on Send to Customer. Review the email details before sending it. To summarize in this video, we created a home service quotation for a customer, creating a job for the quotation post approval, updated the job status on the Zucker web app before switching to the technician's mobile app, wherein we interacted with the job, completed the job, and raised an invoice for the same. Do you want to optimize your field processes using Zucker? Schedule a demo with us today.